All right, we got a comment here from uh, somebody in a pea brain video. Okay, so I commented and, and this gentleman followed up and he says, from my understanding and research by some theologians, the Geneva Bible is the most accurate translation. Would like to see a comparison of that one. All right, so the Geneva Bible is, without question, it is better than the modern versions today. I don't dispute that at all. But let me give one example here to show you something that I think is interesting here. If we go, let's do it this way, all right, because we'll be, I think this will help you give a greater understanding. All right, so of course in Second Samuel 21 verse 19, and there was again a battle in Gob with the Philistines where Elhanan, the son of Jerobalim, the Abethamite, slew the brother of Goliath, the Gittite, the staff of whose spear was like a weaver's beam. Alright, so El Elhanan slew the brother of Goliath. Now, let's see what other translations say. Uh, specifically, let's start off with the Geneva. Uh, GNV, that's the Geneva. Just in case you have some doubt right there Geneva and Geneva says there was yet another battle in Gob with the Philistines where Elhanan the son of Jerolagarim a Bethelite slew Goliath the Gittite the staff whose spear was like a weaver's beam okay did you notice that El and according to the Geneva it says Elhanan slew Goliath. You see that? You see the difference, right? In the King James Bible, it says Elhanan slew the brother of Goliath, not Goliath. Now, if you know a little bit about the Bible, surely you know that David killed Goliath, not Elhanan. Elhanan killed the brother of Goliath. All right, and then of course, uh, so the Geneva has its problems. All right, that's why there was a need for the King James Bible uh, to give us a standard Bible, and uh, it's proven to be perfect. No errors, no omissions, no contradictions. It is the pure word of God in the English language. And of course that makes sense, doesn't it? You believe in a perfect God, you ought to believe in a perfect Bible. And of course I want to go back to Isaiah real quick. And just show you one verse here that used to be there, but then... But then... Uh, that guy, uh, he removed it. What was his name? The guy that removed all the Bible verses. What am I doing wrong here when I search these things? There it is. Isaiah 59. As for me, this is my covenant with them, saith the Lord. My spirit that is upon thee, and my words which I have put in thy mouth shall not depart out of thy mouth, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, nor out of the mouth of thy seed seed, saith the Lord, from henceforth and forever. So you're born of God, therefore you have the word of God in your mouth, in your language, in your tongue. All right, it all means the same thing. So we have in the English language the pure word of God, and that's found in the King James Bible. It's not in the Geneva Bible. Just the King James Bible. All these other modern versions are perversions of the Word of God. All right. 
And okay, so you got the what is this the complete or Christian standard or whatever? I don't know. I, you see all these examples. I believe there's 50 of them listed here, and the King James got it right. So let's do it this way because it's going to highlight who's right, and who's wrong. So all these guys don't mention it, the brother. The BRG got it right. Uh, <clears throat> this is the complete. B or G uh, J Jewish Bible should be the C B S B. Nevertheless, I don't know what that says. Kill Goliath the Gittite. Um, I don't even want to get into that. That's mm, killed Goliath. El Hanan killed Goliath. That's a problem. That's a big problem because we know David killed Goliath. And you're saying somebody else killed Goliath. That's a big, big problem. The ESV struck down Goliath. You're a big supporter of the ESV? Well, your ESV is wrong. Right there, that one verse nullifies the entire Bible perversion. All right, same thing with the ESV UK. And I, I mean, you can look at this stuff yourself. It's, uh, it's a big problem. It's a huge problem. It's a contradiction. It doesn't make any sense. It only adds confusion. And, of course, the result is people that have these Bible versions don't believe the Bible they hold in their hands. All right, so now they got to trust the experts. And who are the experts? They're ghosts. They're not real. And why would there be experts that know more about the Word of God than you? You're a... Uh, chosen of God you have the spirit of truth in you you are born of God you are a royal priest you're called to preach the gospel to every creature why would God do that if you didn't have access to the Word of God you see what I'm saying it doesn't make any sense you have access to the Word of God the only thing that's required is that you have faith. Once you have faith, God opens your eyes. And then now you can see what the Word of God is saying. When you do not have faith, even though you read the Bible, your eyes are closed and you don't have understanding. Right, the NIV actually got it right. That's unbelievable. It's about the only thing they got right in the Bible, just about. All right, all right. So, anyways, uh, I don't want to go. With, this is kind of boring, but I just wanted to show you that how many you know a lot of people are getting this wrong, or a lot of perversions are getting this wrong. And I I don't know anybody that teaches Elhanan killed Goliath. Everybody knows David killed Goliath. So anyway, that's all I got.